My heart goes out to the families of the people that were killed or injured in the Boston Marathon. And my heart also goes out to the thousands of people killed every month by illegal drone strikes where they'll kill 200 people and call it collateral damage but never show it on our news. Little arms and legs blown in all directions. If you try to put that on YouTube, they'll shut your channel down. But if you show the death and carnage from this event that's meant to be used to take our liberties and convert America to a pure authoritarian globalist stronghold, well, then it's allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, I've studied false flags for 18 years. Our government has declassified the fact that it's been involved in hundreds of staged terror attacks and bombings all over the world to blame their political enemies. Any so-called journalist out there that want to look into it can check out Operation Gladio or Operation Ajax or the Gulf of Tonkin or Operation Northwoods for that matter. They think the public is so stupid they sit up there and say, why would Alex Jones, this devil, ever say it could be the government or elements in the government? How terrible. How horrible. Why governments have never done anything like this to get power. Government has a history of doing it. It has the motive. You can see the media gearing up, saying there's going to be domestic terror attacks. The Tea Party is going to link up with Al-Qaeda. Asinine garbage like this. But from the family guy to CNN, oh my gosh, the Patriots are going to merge with Al-Qaeda. You can trust no one but Homeland Security. Ladies and gentlemen, Homeland Security stands to gain from this. They've got anti-gun bills, open border bills, and a bill to make Homeland Security autonomous from Congress right now in front of them. And these type of events grease the skids and allow government to expand. And that's what's happening. So bottom line, this crisis will be used to take your freedoms. And they've now confirmed that there was a drill. They told people, you know, don't be alarmed before the bombs went off. And now they've tried to deny it, though it's been confirmed. Even more suspicious. But here's the bottom line. You can't sit there and say it's either right-wing extremists and people that don't like the IRS or it's Al-Qaeda. When our government runs Al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria publicly and they're chopping Christians' heads off and blowing up churches in Syria right now, and it won't even be on our news. It's all over the foreign press. You know, they're not showing a Christian family being killed right now by Al-Qaeda that our government's arming uh, on our news. No, they're showing these children and all getting sad and choked up as Obama signs drone orders every week you know, to take out a whole building if it gets, quote, one bad guy. This is insane. And I'm not going to sit here and watch these people uh, program the public and, and, and use these tragedies to take our liberties. I mean, they've got the Secretary of Defense Hagel saying, we're going to put troops on the streets everywhere. This has been rolling out forever, and I told you it's coming to a head before the economic implosion that's meant to bring us fully under their control. This is the breaking of America. This is how you get conquered by corporate interest. They stage or allow events to take place and then fearmonger an emotional response to grease the skids. And that's happening right now. And it's happening in Europe. And it's been done over and over again across the world. When I see an event like this, it's like a punch in the stomach. Because the flashbacks of all the investigations I've done, all the research, all the eyewitnesses that saw the feds planting bombs in the Oklahoma City building, and the cops I've interviewed, you know, where the FBI comes into their office and says, you and your wife are dead if you don't shut up, uh, Mr. Browning and others, it, 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 it really freaks me out too. It's not fun to go out and confront these people. It's not fun to put my life on the line. But you know what? If you give in to lies and you give in to tyranny, you're dead already. I'm really alive. I'm doing this for my children and for your children and for our future. Because if they can continue to use events to take our liberties and give the state more power and give the security services more power, then they will continue to provocateur and stage these events. Our so-called government has a long history of this. Northwoods, the list goes on and on. And you cannot sit there and deny it. Now, I know all the scared little journalists that sit there and report and repeat the government talking points can sit there and make fun of us. Like when we first reported that they said on the scanners, let's burn Dorner up, let's burn his ass up. And then they said, oh, that wasn't said at first. And then they said, oh, well, it was said, but we didn't mean burn it down. It just doesn't work anymore. Okay, and we're seeing the same stuff here. And the media build up in every drama and sitcom and cop show where the patriots are going to blow up uh, the people and they're the new terrorists. There's a whole branding campaign 
about how now the domestic threat is the libertarians and the gun owners. I mean, it's obvious. And you're supposed to just give in to peer pressure and go, okay, I'll turn my guns in. Okay, you can look at everything I'm doing without a warrant now. Okay, I'll be good. Okay, set up the TSA checkpoints on the highway. When they had 400 National Guard, thousands of police, ATF, all the people there at the finish line. And then this bombing happens and guaranteed they're lining up the, the Patsy right now. Some drugged up Patsy. I mean, they even drug the, you know, the guy in the Aurora thing up for trial now. I mean, this is like right out of North Korea or something. So that's what I'm saying to all the people that attack us. You don't hurt me in the way you think. It doesn't hurt me that you're attacking Alex Jones because I know I stand for justice. I know I'm right. All the telltale signs, the fingerprints are there. Bare minimum provocateur, most likely completely staged. I feel sorry for you that you've chosen the wrong side. And all of you people that are in denial by increment giving into more and more tyranny, you're going to allow all this to manifest. Because that's how it works. You give into corruption, little corruption, and it gets bigger and bigger. And you keep denying. You keep making excuses. You keep ignoring the signs. I mean, how many things did I tell you about over a decade ago that you laughed at in media, and now it's all true? But I'm a kook because I don't like warrantless wiretapping. I'm a kook because I don't like army checkpoints. I thought none of that was coming. I mean, I remember in the trials of Gardasil, it was killing a lot of the people that took it. That was seven, eight years ago, and I warned everybody, and then it came out, and now they've admitted it and are settling with everybody. And I, I just, the trial said it was killing a lot of people and didn't even protect them, and I was called a demon. It's because the damn trials were killing people. I had the mothers on who'd give it to their cheerleader daughter, and they'd die in like 2005, 2006, and then I'd be attacked for it. I mean, don't you people have survival instinct? Can't you see what's going on? No, you think it's all like another TV show you just tune into and Obama's the actor, like it's CSI Miami. These are psychopathic globalists who kill people all over the world and could care less about you. In fact, they hate you and they hate your history of freedom and they think you're spoiled, rotten, and uppity and they're going to take everything you've got because they see you as gullible. Now, we're going to put out a full report tomorrow with a whole history of false flag. I cover it in my film, Terror Storm. It's free online. Terror Storm. Watch it. See it. Get it out to people. Because if you keep giving in to the evil and denying it exists, you give it full power. Admit it exists. Stand against it. We have a future. It's the only way out. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not honor.